there's a population of 7.5 billion humans and 19 billion chickens at any given time. If there was a chicken rebellion how would you prepare to fight off your 2.7 chickens? Give or take a few? I would throw their eggs at them, infinite source of artillery, and it would give them shell shock. Stand in front of their charge with a jar of 11 secret herbs and spices. Choking. I'm an expert at choking the chicken. Edit. Choking the chicken is a euphemism for wanking where I'm from. It has nothing to do with BDSM slash rough sex. Euphemisms aside that is a sound plan. The sound is fap 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 fap. What about flap 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 flap? Opens crusty crab's doors. Rev up those fryers. Cause I sure am hungry. I've got a rock hammer and two cats within a few feet of me. I think I've got this. Do you really think the cats will side with us? This is the opportunity they've been awaiting. I think we can mostly count on the cats. Bloodlust is powerful, possibly more powerful than human hate. A comment here said a cat isn't a match for a angry horde of chickens maybe not a horde, but they can pick off the weak and the stragglers. And babies, keep them from producing a new generation of warriors. Cats are amazing and intelligent hunters. They'll be careful and won't enter battle with the odds stacked against them. The cats have much to teach us. R15. A shotgun would probably be better, more chance of hitting two birds with one shot. Not really. Shotguns are slower, less reliable, hold less ammo, and the shot doesn't spread out nearly as fast as people think. Found the white American male. Found the person who makes stupid assumptions. I have a Mossberg 930 with enough bird shot to help many who can't defend themselves. Same, except I have a 500. I've got a 590. What if 19 bee chickens came after us all, but one person at a time? FDFY. Played themselves. Group them in one place and kaboom them. No more chickens. I'll gladly give my life to see the chickens get roasted. Terrifying. Call in the US military. Hit those chickens with rail guns and tanks. A moat, but it's a giant deep fryer. You really haven't thought this through, have you? Are you asking how we'd react if there was a chicken coup? Fight them with chicken drumstick. Shame them with their fallen brother's chickens love to eat chicken. I wouldn't do anything. If you hit them repeatedly they let out a battle cry and a lot more of them show up to attack. I've got a scar under my right eye. From when I was a child I was sent into a chicken coop. I unlatched that gate. The wire mesh caught between my chubby little fingers. The bite of steel. The crunch of hay under my feet as I walked in. I looked around, and the chickens, they didn't know me, my grandparents. Sure, but to them, I was a stranger, an intruder. They had one who defended their flock, a hero, a vicious raptor with claws as sharp as knives, and my naive self had no clue what it was I was about to face. It was just screeching, flapping, feathers and pain. Heat flowed down the right side of my face, searing agony as I stumbled, clawing at the wire to escape, but I couldn't see, couldn't find the gate I'd close behind me, crying for help. Nobody came. I was trapped, defenseless, I didn't know how to fight, what to do. You swing and they flap away, you kick and they cut your ankles, the pecs drive an nail gun into your flesh, the talons shear through cloth. You realize, these creatures were once velociraptors, they would take down their prey as a group and slice at tendons and arteries, until they were helplessly bleeding out, disabled and at the mercy of these smaller predators. I eventually clasped my bloodied and scratched fingers through a hole, found a latch and pulled, crawling out still with them in pursuit, help arriving, but too late. I bear the scar under my eye, defended only by the evolution of an orbital socket against being blinded permanently, cheekbone exposed through ripped flesh, sewn back together, but leaving me marked by the vile feathered creatures. The chicken's head was taken, it was served for dinner, but I had none, nor would I for years. I wasn't victorious. I had lost, I was defeated. You're fornicating naive to think you're fighting 2.7 chickens at once they're grouping, pack tactics, and they're swarming people when one dies, they'll move on to the next, with a thirst for blood driven stronger. You don't want a melee weapon first, you want to burn them with a fornicating flamme thrower. Their wings ain't their strong suit, but they can jump and flap enough to glide that's where their real danger is, cause they can get to eye level even of a grown adult with that. You take that away, and your eyes are safe. You would be amazed the pressure of those beaks. 
You don't want a car those things are like bullets, they will get through. Then congratulations, you just locked yourself in a metal tomb with these murderous avians. You don't want a gun you won't hit a target like that. You don't want a sword either you won't hit a chicken. Low to the ground, you'll cut your legs off before you kill three of them. Baseball bat? You'll break your own fornicating legs. Genius. Crushing their skulls and driving beaks into your calves. Screaming as you crumble down. Same with slash you slashed Tato's idea of frying pan seems great, but after the first few swings, a few misses, you think about how low a frying pan reaches your what? Bending over, bringing your eyes closer to them? A frying pan in the hand doesn't reach most chickens close to the ground. Congratulations, you're off balance, better in range, and again, you clip your shin bones with a misplaced swing having too much weight behind it, and you just cracked your leg a fracture with a soft swing, snapped it with a good one and you're down. Your eye juices are dripping out of the holes pecked in them as your tongue is pulled out from the seam by their beaks. You don't know what you're fighting, and be glad for that. Trust me. There is only one tool for fighting them once they close the range through the flames, and one tool only. Tennis rack A. Eh? Hit yourself and it'll sting, but the frame is light, the air resistance minimal. The metal edging will snap a chicken's neck if it catches, and their bones don't require a lot to snap. Their avians even the flat of the rack A eh, will fornicating rack them enough to decrease their strength. Held at length, you can reach the ground in sweeps, clear around your legs in fluid motions, and also intercept them coming at head height. You're not wrong for choosing the shape of a frying pan, but you're going too far, without the right ergonomic design. These things were designed to deflect projectile things coming at your face at high speed, all around you, maximum reach and minimal bodily interference. You want a flammer thrower, a tennis rack eh? and it's winner winner chicken dinner baby. I very thoroughly approve of this strategy. This is exactly the kind of post I would expect from a chicken. They are taking notes. I think Dwight Schrute alone can handle about a million of them. We just need 19,500 Schrutes. Tag team with Peter Griffin. I'd prepare by setting the oven at 375 F. I for one welcome our new chicken overlords. You cannot win a war against birds. Australia has tried and lost. If you ever played Zelda you know this threat is real. Oh yeah, definitely. Buckethead would not approve. Colonel Sanders, execute order 66. I can't believe you guys are all on reddit arguing about such a fatuous topic, based on such false pretenses. First, there are 7.594 billion people on earth 962 million are over the age of 60 and therefore will not be fighting chickens rather than watching CBS. Fox News and reruns of Matlock 26% or 1,974,440,000 are under the age of 15, so count them out. The 1 billion disabled will not be doing any chicken fighting. The populations of Sweden, Switzerland, and vegetarians are around 300 meters. That leaves us with approximately 3,357,560,000 able-bodied humans, assuming little overlap. Finally bringing us to approximately 5.65 chickens per human. In conclusion, Fama Thrower. The biggest problem is those 19 billion chickens are in extremely dense population centers, with very low human population density. At first, the foul masses would overwhelm, ask any link and he will confirm. However as they disperse the ratio of chickens to humans will decrease. The use of opposable thumbs will help the humans as their tools assert some degree of dominance. At this point the chickens would have to invoke Article 5 of the FATO, Fowl and Avian Treaty Organization. While the chickens were the initial aggressors, once they become overwhelmed and lose ground, the mutual defense clause would kick in. Now humans are in trouble. You don't have about two chickens to deal with now, but everything from hummingbird strike fighters to emu and ostrich destroyers. The numbers will be more like 30 or more to one. I, for one, welcome our winged overlords, just one left. Please don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Sander the Hound Clegane, you're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. The hound reaches across the table, grabs Polliver's drink, and drains it, Sander the hound Clegane, and hungry, think I'll take two chickens. Polliver turns and looks at his men, then turns back to the hound, Polliver, you don't seem to understand the situation. 
Sand of the Hound Clegane. I understand that. If any more words come pouring out your fishy taco mouth, I'm gonna have to eat every fornicating chicken in this room. Poliver, you lived your life for the king. You gonna die for some chickens? Sand of the Hound Clegane. Someone is. Another long pause, then everybody draws their weapons and a fight breaks out. 